Hi, thanks for tuning in to the 10th video in our series on creating Facebook pages to promote your business. I'm Jim Hinckley of JH Web Marketing, and let's talk now about Facebook events. Um, it can be a great way of just drawing more attention to your business, uh, and whether it's a uh, live event or an online event, Facebook events makes it really easy for you to uh, get that whole process going. So let's head over to our XYZ company uh, Facebook page here and notice up here in the tabs we do not have a tab for events. Um, you'll need to look under either this arrow tab and there it is right there for us on this particular page or in the case of your page it might be under that uh, plus sign so just check them both and obviously click on events wherever you find it. It will bring you to this page that at the moment confirms that XYZ has no upcoming events so you can create one either by clicking that link right there or by clicking this create event button up here and here's the page where you can put in all the details of your event um, it's very straightforward not too uh, difficult to figure out you just choose a date for your event uh, a start time as you can see that you can have the event start anytime you can also add an end time if you want to for the event um, in terms of what are you planning, this is where I would put kind of the main title of the event. So let's put in um, uh, next grand opening. For where, you can put in either just a general location like any town mall, or uh, if you want to add to that with a street address, just click add street address and there you go you've got a, a street field and a city and state field and conveniently when you start typing in here um, notice that it gives you a list of uh, cities that match the first few letters you've typed in so that's definitely making it easier for you the more info this is where I would give uh, additional details about the event and the select guest button obviously does what it says it you click on it and what you're going to have here in this window is all of your uh, Facebook friends who you have through your personal Facebook profile and you can click on any one or all of them that you want to invite to the event. Um, you can also, let's just unclick those for the moment since this is not a real event, um, you can also click this filter friends and you can either select um, a list of friends that you've already created in Facebook or down here under networks these are networks that your friends belong to that you probably don't belong to and that in turn makes it really easy for you to uh, select people uh, very precisely who you want to invite to the event so there's a couple of people who fit that criteria right there um, let's um, we're gonna uncheck them since this is not a real event and yet another option you have is to invite people by email addresses even if they don't belong to Facebook so you've got once again tremendous flexibility here to make this all work for you the way that you need to and I'm just having a little trouble getting that save and close button uh, okay so we're going to also take a look here very quickly at the fact that you can add an event photo uh, up here in the upper left corner of the page. So again, we've, we've already gone over how to add photos. I'm sure you know how to do that. It's just a matter of choosing from photos that are on your hard drive. <laughs> Sorry for that. I'll close that out. And uh, now We'll click create event so that you see the page that people will come to. Um, well, first of all, when you click that create event button, invitations are going to go out for the event to all the people who you have selected to invite to it. And here's what they'll see when they uh, open up their email and click on the link in it. So that's it for uh, inviting people to a Facebook event that you set up. Best of luck with it, and we'll talk again in the next video.